So this video will show you how to import music to Share Factory Studio on the PS5. Now Share Factory already has around 120 songs on there already but if you want to bring in some different music you just need a USB and a laptop or PC and of course Share Factory on the PS5. So lots of information coming your way in this very quick video but to start with we're going to show you how to import music to Share Factory using two different methods. I'm going to show you how to find music to import and how to get copyright free music from YouTube and obviously it's really important to make sure any music you put on is copyright free and I'll also show you the music format that Share Factory will accept plus if there's any issues that you have then we'll go over some things to check if you get errors for example. No copyright sounds, YouTube audio library and epidemic sound are three options where you can get music from. I've only really used YouTube audio library but there are definitely places you could look but I know there's lots of other options also. So let's get started so plug in your USB stick to your PC or laptop and I would advise you to use an empty USB stick because we're going to reformat it to make sure it will work for Share Factory. So you go to USB stick and you right click on it and you go to format. And then what you want to do is go down to file system and choose XFAT. This does delete all existing data on there and that's why it needs to be empty. So if you have got stuff on your USB stick, save it somewhere else before you do this, otherwise you will lose it all. Now we need to create some folders to put the music. So we're gonna click on the USB stick and then right click in the empty space and then go to new and then folder. And then we're gonna rename this folder as share factory once you've done that confirm and then click on share factory right click in space go to new and then click on folder and we're renaming this one music so all of our music can go into this folder so you should find you've got the usb then share factory then music now within the music folder you could actually set up extra folders if you wanted to so share factory music and then folder one and then you could have share factory music and folder two and so on to keep different music if you're going to have lots of music it's well worth doing that these are the supported music formats that we'll accept so do note those mp4 seems to be the main one that people choose and here are the bit rates to note when you're downloading or importing music as well so still on the computer if you've got music on folders already then all you need to do is drag the music track into the actual share factory music folder i'll show you later how to import music from youtube audio library but for the moment let's carry on with this so we've got the audio track in the music folder so now once that's in there we can take the usb out of the laptop or pc and plug it into the ps5 as mentioned before there's two options for importing music so we've got the usb in the ps5 so now we can just go to the main menu and go to toolbox and then go into import music now there's two options most recent and in import from USB we want to click on import from USB and this is the music that we put on the USB we push the cross button and that brings up a little tick here and then we can push the square button to import the selected clip or track once you've done that it takes a couple of moments and there you go most recent there is the track sat there ready to be used in your project so you can go back to the video editor and then you just choose whichever project you want to add the music to. I'm just going to randomly select this point here that we want it to start. So we push the cross button and go to add music. Here is the imported track. Just need to click the cross button to add the track. And then we've got the music on our project here. So now you've got different options. You can push the square button and that will take you to all these options. So I'm not going to go through them all. Just play about with them, get used to them. You can do things like move the music so you can move it around to different places on your project. There's different things you can do like delete your project. You can trim the music to make it shorter, just like you would trim a normal clip. If you push the square button, it will always take you back to the edit menu here so you can split the clip clone the music you can change the music using the sticks on the controller apply to all would change the volume on all music clips if you've got more than one and the prioritize will make the music clip priority over the other sounds playing on the project click on fade in if you want to fade the music in gently at the beginning of the music and you can change how long that lasts for and you can click on fade out if you want it to fade out at the end of the track as well if you want to delete the music then you just go to delete music and confirm that and then that will delete it so now we go on to importing the music option two so again we go into a project and this time what we do is we choose whichever project we want to use go wherever we want the music to start push the cross button go to add music 
and then this time you can see down the left hand column at the bottom it says import music from USB so this will be the second way of importing music so you might use this way if you forgot to import the music from the USB before and you're in your project and then you just want to add the music so you just push the cross button and square the same as you did before that will import the project or the music and there you go we've got two imports now of the same clip where we've imported it in two different ways okay so before we go into the things to check if it's not working for you i'll just show you quickly you can go in to get free music from youtube studio just go into youtube studio and then audio library and then you've got absolutely loads of music tracks and sound effects that you can choose from you can click on here to play the music if you want to check what it sounds like first and click here to see if you need to attribute the music to anyone before you use it and generally it's all free and copyright free but just check it there before you download it you click on download and then it downloads it to your computer and then you just once you've got it on your computer you can move it into your folder like we did before so if you do have any problems importing the music to share factory then usually it's one of these three things check usb is formatted correctly check the music track is acceptable format and check that the usb folders are named correctly and if you check all those it should work absolutely fine on screen are some videos to watch next please hit the like button if you found this useful and subscribe if you haven't already thanks very much for watching and bye